strangely enough, that afternoon. <laughs> Scheduling issues. It's Saturday. It's the 7th of September. 2013. 12.15. Actually 12.13. But who's counting? This road is the road to the Black Cock where there's a beer festival and I'm not sure if it's the correct terminology a dog festival it opens at 11 I was hoping to be on the 20 to 11 bus but various things have conspired against me uh, new tyres for the car that was fun and then the bus was late but we had a rather entertaining bus driver not going to knock that one. So, um, Tiny Rebel, Celt Experience, The Kite, mainly Welsh Ales, hopefully. And the weather, well, it's not supposed to rain, but I'm feeling a little bit of uh, moisture in the air. Podcasts, oh, actually, there's a big spot then. Windows Weekly, Leo Laporte, Paul Thorot. A Mary Jo, who I'll probably tweet out to later, because she's on Untapped and she likes her beers. It's a mountain, it's a beer festival, and it's the Black Cock Inn. A bit overcast, but nice. And number one, Loki, the Black IPA. 4.5% alcohol by volume and they do have a tiny red bar which is fine drink it and there's the bar smoky but it has that tiny rebel hoppiness B plus plus. Number two from down the bottom of the mountain. Cult experience. This is <coughs> Ogmoak at eight and a half percent. They got it down as a Belgian fruity ale. But on the pub clip it says it's a triple. I'm going with triple. Oh no, full fat. That is, that is fruity. I can give that an A minus, that's wonderful. Number three, more Celt experience. I think you can guess that from the glass. This is a double IPA, which is unfiltered. Seven flowers at 8.1% alcohol by volume. And outside, the sun's come out. Well, there are clouds as well. Oh, back to the beer. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of hops. You know, it says rather intoxicatedly. The finish is good as well, A eh? minus. Yes, indeed. Um, this is number four Abor Ales. Optical delusion at 3.8% alcohol by volume. A heavily hop pale ale. The hops are big. The body could be better, but it's still nice. B plus. Uh, 
take it personally. Sorry, don't take it personally. Will you? Um, I am not intolerant, but I do work with people who are. So this is a uh, gluten-free, or below the gluten level, which is fatty parts per million. And this is against the grain by World Top Yorkshire Brewers at 4.5% alcohol by volume. It's doggy central right here, I'm going to be honest. That's nice. As beers go, that is nice. Um, Kiwi in New Zealand, pale ale, and five percent of the whole by volume. Wonderfully hoppy. B plus plus. This is this is a day. I've just met Hugh Warren, who I haven't seen for thirty years at least. And he's drinking ales. So actually, he was sitting opposite me for quite some time. This. What I'm drinking is from a brewery called Wild Beer. This is Scarlet Fever, which is a red ale, which is an American style. 4.8% alcohol by volume. So, Scarlet Fever. And we are recharging because. Hoppy, tasty. B plus plus. Well, I, the only 